This is going to be a quick tutorial and demonstration on LogoPress 3 blank. I'm going to open a Parasolid file and I'm going to show my shaded with edges and we'll take a quick look at the part and if I look at the top plane we can see that the part is relatively symmetrical. So before starting to use LogoPress 3 blank, we need to save the part. So I'll do that right away. Otherwise, we'll get a warning message. And ready for blank for stamp part. But no, we're not really. I just want to demonstrate that we can't pick any place on a part like this because look at what happens with the coordinate system. We put our own LogoPress 3 coordinate system on the part. So in a case like this, a very, very often used feature, I'm going to pre-select that top plane first. It's just easier. A very, very often used feature is curve split line. And the plane is pre-selected. And the face or body to split, I want to split this one and this one and this one and this one. OK. And once we've got those split, now we're ready to start blank for stamp part. And now we click that split line and we can see it's locked in the X and in the Y. Oops, didn't mean to uncheck that. So you can see Y and X. And of course the Z is obvious. And pick here. That's the same, going to be locked in the X and Y. This one though, we need it to be locked in the Y, but it needs to be able to move in the X direction. So that particular edge needs to move in the X direction. And then we pick this one down here, and that one also needs to move in the X direction. It only needs to be locked in the Y. And we can see the arrows here that show that we're allowing it to move that way. OK, and then let's go ahead and uh, select this as well, because this isn't going to move either. It needs to move in the Y direction, but it's locked in the X. Same here. Locked in the Y, move in the X. Uh, oops, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Locked in the X, move in the Y, and locked in the X, move in the Y. Okay, there we got it. And now we're ready for the material thickness. We can see that it's pointing in the right direction. I know that this part is thickened outward. So 0.020 is the thickness. That's already been established. We'll change to normal settings and we're ready to compute. And very quickly it'll mesh the part. I've got inside edges sketch shown. So in the blank it's going to make a sketch showing all the tangent edges. It can be very helpful if you need to stamp the part number on a part in the flat or something. So there we've got our blank, that quickly. Now we can preview a number of different things. We can preview the mesh on the part. We can preview the strain. Preview the stress. We can animate it. We can slow it down. We can adjust the speed of the animation. Zoom in while it's animating. Very cool. And we'll stop that. And we can also show the thickness variation. And a handy tool, you can see a little bit of yellow right here. We can adjust the scale here. So we can get a, a clear idea of how much the thinning is in any given spot. And then finally, we can also preview the contour points mapping. So we can see where on the flat blank this portion of the part is, for example. OK, and once you're done looking at it, validate. And there's our flat blank. And let's look at it from the front view. And I'll use my arrow keys to adjust the view of it. And you can see by the inside edges sketch, I'm actually going to hide that and 
Let's just grab a ruler and overlay it to get an idea. And then uh, rotate it here. Take a look. Again, we've given you a very, very accurate blank at this point. And the other nice thing is when we've got geometry uh, that's nice geometry, if you will, we don't ruin that geometry. So if I click on this edge, you can see I've got a 125 radius. Here I've got a 125 radius. We don't wreck good geometry. And remember what I said about this edge. I locked up this edge right here because I said this edge doesn't move, so you might as well keep it as good geometry. And then let's look and hold down the control key and click on the right plane. And then hit, uh, I've got a shortcut for my measure key. And the items are parallel. And normal distance is 5.500 exactly, rounded it to one place. So you can see this line, it's great, good geometry. So that's LogoPress 3 blank. And remember to use split lines with it when you don't have a flat surface that's parallel to the forming direction that you can select. Finally, there's a 14-day free trial of LogoPress 3 blank if you're interested. Please feel free to contact us. Thank you.